What's going on guys, Casual Savage here. First thing, Happy New Year to all of you is 2019, so hopefully you've set some goals and hopefully you will achieve them. Now one thing I'm going to be doing different, I'm going to be uploading more consistently, I'm going to be uploading five times per week. So of course this is the first one, there's going to be four other videos coming out this week. But in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create lower thirds in Photoshop. So for those that don't know what a lower third is, this thing right here, that's the correct term for them social handles. And also my lower thirds are also made in Photoshop and then animated using Vegas Pro 16. Now the lower third I create in this video, I will be providing to you as a template. So after you've watched the video, definitely head over to the description and you can download it, use it as a starting point or just use that lower third yourself and put it on your channel. So here we are in Photoshop. Now the first thing I'm gonna recommend you do if you make similar videos, say for example, you're a Fortnite player, you're always playing Fortnite, then I recommend you take a screenshot of that video. For example, I know the majority of my videos are going to be in Vegas Pro 16, hence why I have taken a screenshot of that video and I can just place it here. Now this just allows me to see where on the screen the lower third will be, what it will be blocking, and if it will basically be in the way of anything. It also gives me an indicator how big the lower third is, so it won't be too big or too small. Now by the way, this is optional, it's just something I recommend. So the first thing we're going to be doing is over here, we're going to select a new layer. And all we're gonna do is come over to the side, and you can see we have some shapes here. If these shapes don't appeal to you, you can come up to the custom shape tool. Then you can see there are different shapes here. If you only see one set of shapes, for example, I see arrows, select the toggle button. And then you can see you can select all, select OK. And then a bunch of other shapes will be appearing here. Now, I'm going to be showing you a really basic one, but it will get you set off to show you how to make your own. So all I'm going to do, for example, is select the rounded rectangle tool. Now I'm not going to worry about the colors just yet, simply because we can always adjust that at the end. All I'm going to do is hold shift on my keyboard and drag out a square. And I'll come to the move tool and then this is where you can position it where you want to. So I'll just say I want it there. I'm then going to come across over here and select the rounded rectangle tool again and left click and drag out a rectangle. Now this one I'm going to go to the move tool and I'm going to make it just here. I'm press Ctrl T on my keyboard to make it thicker and then extend it out. When I'm happy I'm going to press enter on my keyboard and we basically got our layout set up. If you haven't worked it out yet, on the left here will be an image icon and on the right here will be the text. Now an example we're going to be using in this tutorial is for Twitter. So you want to create a Twitter lower third. and where you would find icons is just typing, for example, Facebook, PNG, Twitter, PNG, Instagram, PNG, really, really simple. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this one here. It is in black, but if we don't like the color of it or if it cl clashes with our other colors, we can always change the color afterwards. So I'm gonna drag and drop this on here and I'm going to tick it. So now this is where you can start main messing with the colors. So I'm going to keep mine simple, but of course you can be as creative as you want to. This square here where the icon will be, I'm going to change it to white. So I'm going to select color overlay and I'm going to select the box and select white and select OK. Now you can also get the ability here to add a drop shadow. Just add a bit if you want to, it looks pretty good. And you can also add a stroke and also an outer glow. And the final one I would recommend is probably a bevel and emboss. So you can see it just adds a bit more style to the square. So I'm going to select OK and leave it like that. And all I'm going to do is get the Twitter icon, press Ctrl T on my keyboard, hold Shift and Alt from the corner and drag it down. I'm then going to position this in the center of the square. And I'll keep it right here. Once I'm happy with the positioning and the size, I want to press enter on my keyboard and this is in place. Now on the rectangle, we got some pretty good effects. So I'm going to right click it, select copy style, layer style, go to my second rectangle, right click and select paste layer style. Now this one's not going to be in white. This is going to be in black. So where the color overlay is, I'm going to press the I and turn it off. Now this is where we then create another new layer and head over to the text tool. Make sure the text is in white, just so it's not clashing with the black and we can see it. And just drag out a box like this. 
Now I'm going to put at casual savage. Press control A, you can size it up. Then I also want it to be center, so I'm going to press alt on my keyboard and bring this in like this. And I'm going to go back to the move tool and just make sure it is centered. And there we go. So that's that created. And you can see it actually looks pretty nice. Um, the next thing I'd recommend you do, well, you're basically done. What you can do is take off the background layer and you can save it like this. If you want to add specific animation, for example, the square and the Twitter icon coming out at once, then this is what you'll need to do. And this is what I do on my um, lower thirds as well. So all of mine are made in Photoshop. So first of all, I'm going to hide the casual savage text by pressing the I. I'm then going to hide this rectangle as well by pressing the I next to it. Then we'll be left with this. Then I would save this as a PNG format, which means it's going to be nothing in the background. It'll just be this icon. Then I want to hide them layers and turn on the other layers. And would also save this in the PNG format as well separately. Then when you drag it onto your video editor, you simply can just drag and drop them on and add animations on each of them. It's really, really simple. And if you want a tutorial on that, then I will be making one. Now bear in mind the video editors I have at the moment is Vegas Pro and Premiere Pro. If there's any other video editor you want to see the lower third on, just let me know in the comments. Now, if you are happy just to have it like this and you'll add maybe a fade, then simply just save it at like this. So go to file, save as, then from save as type, you want to change it to PNG and you can see just save it here. And you can see this is how I created mine. So these are the ones I currently use. Uh, so I have comment one, which is just the box by itself. I have comment two, which is actually the bar going across. So you can see I've done it the exact same way and I've animated it all myself using Vegas Pro. Now, another thing with this, I will be providing a link to it in the description. So if you have Photoshop, head over to the description and you can download this as a free template for you to use.